Hello everyone and welcome to another virtual pet review video. This time I'm going to re be reviewing the Extella Chi, which is the Fate Extella Collaboration Tamagotchi Nano. So you can see that because it's a Tamagotchi Nano I have my trusty Nintendo Switch stand here so I don't have to just be holding it the whole time. But you can also see that I have a uh, the the death scene. So, it, because I haven't actually touched this for a few months, I got distracted moving, so I wasn't able to ever do a review video, so I've just kind of left it like this. So we could start a new uh, quote-unquote egg while uh, we're doing this review video. So I think it's A and C, no, A and B, no, B and C, yep, B and, nope, that's the time. How do I reset it? Oh, there we are. Apparently the answer was hold C and then press A. And I've got it on mute. But uh, anyway, so you always start with the Saber character and then you get a different one each time after your first hatch. So that's sort of the reason why I didn't take the batteries out and I just kind of left it sitting there until I could uh, do the review video because otherwise I'm just starting with Saber again because I already already had her, and you know Sa Saber's great, but we're uh, we're doing it on the different character now. And because I'm still unfamiliar with the characters, no idea who this is. But I kind of like his little winged hat and his little moonwalk that he's doing. I'm very there for that. Anyway, so on to this virtual pet. It's pretty standard in terms of the Tamagotchi Nano, and I always give all Tamagotchi Nanos a an ease of use rating of ten out of ten because they're just so easy to take care of. In fact, I got the Perfect Care Saber with her hidden evolution to Bridal Saber, or I think it's Bridal Nero, I think the name is. I can't remember. It's been a, it's been a few months now because, as I said, I didn't end up doing this video for a while because I was busy moving. But anyway, so the uh, it, it's fairly easy to get the Perfect Care. You really only have to feed it a few times throughout the day. And uh, that, that, that's basically about it. You just have to take care of it and depending on the care and the amount of games you play or the different types of games you play, you get a different character. So it's pretty standard in the terms of what all the other Tamagotchi Nanos really have to offer. However, there are a few interesting features and that is what I mentioned earlier with the fact that you get a different type of, uh, of character each time you play. Yes, you're guaranteed the Saber character when you first start off, but when you have it reborn, like I just did, the character will be sort of randomized to a, a list. So while that means that the roster feels shorter or lesser than, you're actually rolling a different character each time. So I feel like that's fairly unique in terms of what the other Tamagotchi Nanos have, and I kind of like that. Of course, you know, the games are fairly straightforward in terms of the all the games on the Tamagotchi Nano. There's really only a, a few different kinds. And this one's the button matching one, which I've... It seems to be on all of them, but this is the, the game on this one. Where it's not button matching, it's a... Uh, you've got to put the... It's like a timing game. That That's how I could re uh, refer to it as. It's the same as the Eevee dance game. And yeah, the games are fairly all short and sweet, as per all of the Tamagotchi Nanos. And uh, so it's easy to do a perfect game to get your little character to be happy. And of course, the thing, the other thing I like about the Tamagotchi Nano is that when you press C, you get a sort of close-up animation, which just gives you like a detailed look of the character. And look at this handsome man. Look at him. Hanging out in his nice long jacket and his big boots and his cane or sword. I'm not sure what that is. Look, handsome. And uh, yeah, he's, I, I like this character. I don't know who he is. I'll have to look that up. I will get familiar with the characters. Oh, and uh, I can't remember if I did this. I mentioned this in any of the following up videos, but I know in the unboxing video I was like, that is a new piece of vocabulary, and I looked it up, and it is apparently referring to like a uh, cafeteria at a school sort of thing. So new vocabulary, that's exciting. 
But uh, yes, yeah, so it's fairly straightforward in terms of what it has to offer, in terms of what other Tamagotchi Nanos have to offer. But it's it's definitely pretty cool, and I do like the unique mechanic of, and I guess it makes sense in the, the Fate universe, that there's a different character each time. So that that's that's pretty cool. And again, the, the shell, there's only just the one of them, so that means that you don't have to worry about, oh, what shell am I going to get? Nope, there's only this one. Uh, unfortunately, it is a lot more expensive than the other ones, as this Tamagotchi was only released alongside the, the special edition of the game. So it is a little bit more expensive, and because of that, I probably wouldn't recommend it to just anyone to buy, unless they are huge Fate fans. But I am glad that I have it because I do love the Tamagotchi Nanos and I do want to have all the Tamagotchi Nanos because I just enjoy playing with them. So yeah, would I recommend this only if you either really love Tamagotchi Nanos like me or you really love Fate and then it'd be a good pickup. And I think Japan you want to have them for an okay price. I paid a little bit more than what Japan you want have have them listed for because I got it from from Japan because as in the website from Japan like the proxy service not actually I got it well yeah I guess it's technically I got it from Japan too but anyway so I, I'm fairly certain that Japan you want still have them available if you want to pick that one up but they are like I think twice as much as the other Tamagotchi Nanos cost so keep that in mind but they are fairly cool and I do adore the shell. I, I'm a big fan of the blue colouring there. And yeah, so that's basically all I have to say. So I already gave it the standard Tamagotchi Nano ease of use rating of 10. And for enjoyment, I'm also going to have to give it a fairly uh, Tamagotchi Nano standard of 9 out of 10 because I liked it. Of course, it wasn't like it's not, you know, the perfect one because I can't... I'll, look, if I had my way, I'd probably give every single one of them a 10, but I I can't just give 10s all the time and I have to make sure I only give 10s to very specific ones. But, uh, yeah, I, I do like this. It's fairly cute and that's pretty standard for a Tamagotchi Nano, honestly. They're all fairly cute and I'm a big fan of all of them. So that was it for the Extelichi. Do you have this one? Are you interested in getting this one? Let me know in the comments and let me know who, uh, who you've been able to raise on this little guy. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye! So just quickly, something I forgot to mention when I was recording the video for this is that first of all, the pooping sort of equivalent is that your character will get kind of glitchy and you have to clean that so that's pretty cool and also and this is probably something you may have picked up at the start of the video when I unmuted the Xtalachi but the sound on off display is sort of a little bit more unique similar to the Avachi one and a few of the other ones instead of just a simple on or off or in the case of the Demon Slayer Tamagotchi a speaker with sound coming out and a speaker without sound coming out this one sort of has a nice unique detailed display so that's fairly cool too but i just thought i'd mention that before i upload this episode so again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye